What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got the most horrible parasite brain eating Emobia. 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 I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what the fuck this name is. Emoeba. Brain eating uh a Moab. Someone tell me the, the correct way of saying it in the comment section below. This is another video from Curse. They make amazing videos. I recommend it by one of you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Most horrible parasite. Let's get him up. A war has been going on for billions of years that breeds well armed monsters who struggle with other monsters for survival. Yep, inside Having of no your bodies. interest in us, most of them are relatively harmless. Right. As our immune systems yep. deal with their weapons easily. Huh? But there are exceptions. Negleria fowlery is an dun. amoeba that has not only developed a deadly taste for human brains, oh, for but sake. is also a match for our defenses and stars in oh, dramatic for headlines. Sake. What happened? You know, I don't know what headlines you're watching because, uh, you know, when I go on the news channel, I don't see brain-eating organisms. When this monster enters your body. Wait, this is happening right now? Like, my brain's being eaten right now? Negleria fowlery is an amoeba, a microbe with a new. He said it. He said it. He said it. Negleria fowlery is an amoeba. Amoeba. A microbe with a nucleus. Amoeba. One of the smallest life forms on Earth. It is a voracious hunter of bacteria and other critters that it devours whole and rips into pieces. Oh, what the fuck? Like many amoebae, it is able to transform into different stages that help it survive. But most of the time, Negleria fowlery is in its trophozoite stage, during which it looks like a squishy blob with tiny yeah. arms, and hunts, divides, and thrives. Its natural home is in fresh water. But the thing is, it can't be that bad, right? You know what I mean? Because like, it might be eating the brain, but our brain is like, I, I, I don't know, like, the, no one in the past has been like, fuck, I've died from a brain eating a, mo a mobia or whatever the ponds, goddamn rivers, name is. Lakes, and hot springs. But unfortunately, it also feels happy in pipes, swimming pools, Everywhere. fountains, or spas Everywhere. when they're not properly treated. Everywhere. The warmer the water, the more it thrives and multiplies. So in the summer, when humans seek to cool off and enjoy themselves, ah, you're already diving in a you know a, a pool with brain-eating organisms. So yeah. the chances are highest that both species will interact. Because this makes it hard to avoid, millions of people regularly have contact with the amoeba, especially amoeba. in warmer climates, and many people even seem to have antibodies against it. And this is mostly okay. You can even right. swallow it without consequences. Things turn bad when people dive or swim in water contaminated with the amoeba, and water splashes high up into their noses. In a single- Oh, that always happens. Oh, fuck. So I might- I might have amoebas in my head right now. Ah, oh, shit. ...drop of lake water, there are millions of viruses, bacteria, and oh, amoebae, fuck. and that isn't really a big deal. But Negleria fowlery is different. Let's zoom into the nose of an unsuspecting victim uh, enjoying that's a not, great summer day let's not do that. and see what happens. First of all, the amoeba doesn't really want to be inside your nose, as it's not really looking for trouble. It just wants to eat a few bacteria. Instead, it's greeted by your natural defenses. Unfortunately for humans, no the Glaria Fowlery happens to be exceptionally good at generally flying under the radar of your immune system. Oh, sick. For example, the inside of your nose is covered by mucosa, a slime filled with chemicals that kill or stun possible invaders or alert immune cells. Focus! But Naglaria Fowlery is not particularly bothered by them and instead calmly checks out the scenery, mildly annoyed about the whole ordeal. He's now, if you are unlucky, He's the tiny critter stumbles over something that actually sparks its interest. What? Brains? Nerve cells. Your nose is filled with a large network of olfactory nerve cells that pick up molecules from the outside and transmit their information to your olfactory bulb. Bro, th this is literally a zombie fucking organism, bro. Just wants brains. The center of smell in your brain. To do their job, these cells talk to each other by releasing various messenger chemicals and recognizing them via specific receptors. One of the most important of these chemicals is acetylcholine. Through sheer evolutionary bad luck, Negleria fowlery happens to have receptors that recognize acetylcholine. And it seems to attract them irresistibly, a little like moths that are attracted by light. Oh, f don't get me started so with moths and light. Nerve cells Please don't do get me started with them. Using plenty of acetylcholine to talk to the brain, Naglaria fowlery enters your tissue. 
Sick. It seems to follow the chemical signals upstream. Nice. No, I just stop, bro. Just chill. Crazy suicide Relax. warriors begin to attack the amoebae. Individually, they have no chance against them, as the invaders are large and pretty buff fighters, used to dealing with tough enemies. So the defenders swarm the intruders and kill them either by vomiting chemicals that punch holes into them, yes. or by literally ripping parts yes. of them off and devouring them. But the Neglaria Fowlery train is still on track, and while the new oh shit, there's there's more than one. Oh, full attacks slow the hell's down. going on? They continue to follow the olfactory nerves to their final destination. Your brain. This process can take between one and nine days, and you'll probably not notice anything during that time. So, like, what? I know he's gonna tell us what's gonna happen, right, when we get to the brain, but like, surely, surely it's not drastic, right? Surely. Until the amoebae reach the olfactory bulb, amoebae. the center of smell and entrance to your brain. Your brain cells are nothing more than helpless victims, and they all release that wonderful acetylcholine. Neglaria Fowlery initiates a away. massacre and releases an onslaught of various attack molecules. What Some the of them fuck? are basically little bombs that rip holes into your cells on contact so their pieces can be eagerly consumed. But Neglaria Fowlery is the now wrong with this guy, and it's also becoming really creepy. In a feeding frenzy, it can develop up to a dozen suckers called food cups that look like giant eerie mouths. Oh, man. The amoebae engage your brain cells, suck them in, and rip large bites out Oi! of them while they're still alive. Now things escalate quickly and the disease that will kill you sets in. Alerted by the massacre, millions of immune cells, neutrophils, eosinophils and microglias invade the infected Come tissue. Come on, help out! Which is a problem. You're Bro, is this why I can't remember stuff? I've got just loads of these little guys just eating, eating on my brain and my, my memory cells. Your immune system is dangerous and not exactly a careful fighter. It's like burning down a forest to kill the wolves inside it. Is this why you get headaches? A bad idea in the brain. They waste no time and attack the amoeba, using all the weapons available to them, from chemicals to trying to eat them alive. Neutrophils explode themselves to erect barriers spiked with deadly chemicals. A fierce battle ensues. Neglaria Fowlery can actually fight back, itself attacking and killing many immune cells. The immune system now throws everything it has at the invader, but in vain. The complement system, tiny protein bombs that can kill intruders on their own, are easily disabled. Antibodies, usually one of your super weapons, are just destroyed or swallowed. A high fever that usually... Bro, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. Slows enemies down, does nothing, as the amoeba actually thrives in the heat. All the while, the amoebae continue to multiply, fight and devour your brain cells. A disastrous chain reaction is taking place. One major thing your immune cells do when they fight is to cause inflammation, which directs large amounts of fluid from your bloodstream into the site of an infection. So as the battle rages on without a clear winner, more and more fluid enters the brain. This is mental! At this point, the human will feel symptoms that quickly right. escalate. It all begins pretty vaguely, a headache, fever, nausea and vomiting. As the battle spreads rapidly through the brain, serious symptoms appear, from confusion, inability to concentrate, to fatigue, seizures, and hallucinations. Wait, 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 wait. I thought this was common. Is this not a common thing? It, it says if you splash in the pool, a bunch of these guys are gonna go into your head, right? I, bro, when I, last time I went in the pool and it all went into my nose, I didn't have seizures or anything. So what the fuck's going the on there? The brain swells up massively, but can't expand due to the bones surrounding it. So it compresses and disables the brainstem that controls things like breathing. What the Usually fuck? Usually within a week, the patient dies. Up what the fuck? Uh, I, uh, uh... <laughs> I'm never going in a pool ever again. To 97% of the patients infected by the amoeba share this fate. It what? Um, this can't be common. This can't be common. In almost all cases, by the time an infection by Neglaria Fowlery is recognized, the disastrous battle for the brain is already so far along that there is almost nothing to be done. 
Not only do we currently not have effective treatments, there are also an abundance of open questions about how an amoeba that usually enjoys its life in open water is able to overcome our immune system so effectively. So how... Yo, I'm stunned. So if I go jump in a lake and water goes up my nose, I'm dead. I've got 97% chance of dying. What the fuck? Like, what, what's going on right now? How worried do you need to be about this horrifying killer right, amoeba? Tell us. Well, not very. Okay. While the Megleria phalari is clearly extremely deadly and the infection truly horrible, there have only been a few hundred cases in the last few decades. Uh, bro. You are way more likely to drown in a pool than to get infected. They've, they told us at the start of this video that if you splash, if you jump into a pool of water and you get water into your nose, you're probably going to get amoeba in your fucking brain. So. Not only does the amoeba need to be flushed high up your nose, it also needs to get a good grip and it also has to make its way through the first lines of your defenses. Ultimately, Nagleria phalari is neither evil nor a huge public health risk. But every year, some unlucky people have to deal with it. We still have so much to learn about it, and until we find a way to treat it, Nagleria phalari will continue to be this vague and horrifying thing, hunting in puddles and lakes. Bro, the thing is though, like, e e even though it's not common, that's hella scary, and man. Pools. That's hella Usually scary. For bacteria, and very occasionally, for people. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, Don't tell hey. me the little birds got it. Who are you? Right, okay, really amazing video. Super good video. Very interesting. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that. If you guys got any videos you want me to react to, link them down in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. We're gaining super close to a thousand subs. So, if you guys can subscribe, it'll really help out the channel. It'll help me out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.